Hey guys, this is author, editor, educator, Chanel Bacon. Recently, with all this going on, on my morning drives back home, I've been having this feeling that has come over me. It's a feeling where my tongue tingles, my chest has this welling of something that wants to come out. And my mouth twitches because it too wants this thing to come out. And I know that it has something to do with music. I've always loved music. I've always loved to sing. And you know, sometimes when things are going crazy, all you can do is moan, you know, right? Because there's just, there's no words for what you want to say. There's so much emotion behind what you want to say. And all you could do is sit there and go, mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you just hum it away and you just let it out with your moans and groans. And on my way home this morning, I just kept hearing on repeat that Jesus loves me. So on the way home, I'm going to just, Jesus loves me, Jesus loves me, Jesus loves me. And it just feels, even now just repeating it, just has my heart and my body a quiver, you know. And so the reason why I'm even talking about this or posting this this morning is There's so much going on in our world, you know, with the pandemic of the coronavirus and the pandemic of black people being killed for the color of their skin. And everything is so deep and so complex and it makes you want to rage. It makes you want to destroy things. It makes you want to create things. It makes you want to love things, you know, and it's tiring. It is heartbreaking. It, I, sometimes there's no words and all you can do is mm, just moan it out and groan it out. But this morning, I wanted to just say, Jesus loves you. He is going to strengthen you. He is going to gird you up with the power you need to make it through this crazy world to be able to stand up for yourself and for others to share love because love kills all things so no matter what they throw at us no matter what they try to do to us or say to us we stand strong we tell the truth we are the truth and we don't back away from that and Jesus is going to be right there beside you right there within you to make sure that's how it goes down because Jesus loves me This I know, and Jesus loves you too, no matter what you look like. If you believe in him, and you love him, and you live your life for him, with him in you, you got this. So have a blessed morning, blessed day, blessed weekend, blessed next week and the rest of 2020, because though the beginning was crap, we still have half a year to go. And we can make with it what we will. Stay good, people. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jesus loves me for the Bible tells me so.